Hello and welcome to the Brandon Smith, the rugby channel here on YouTube and a very, very exciting video here for you today. I am part of the Welsh Rugby Roundup Show. We make a monthly show on the Three Bod Rugby Group and we cover all things Welsh rugby. And recently, we had the pleasure of welcoming former Wales and Lions star David James onto the show. The full interview, in fact, is dropping tomorrow night, Wednesday night, and it's a 50-minute interview. It talks about his career and talks about his fantastic work he's been doing for charity and loads more. So you're going to want to check it out. Link in the description of the page for that. In this clip from the interview, you're going to hear David's thoughts ahead of this year's Six Nations. What he thinks about the team, what he thinks about Wayne Pivak, how does he expect us to play, and what does he want to see from us this Six Nations. I'm really excited to bring this video to you today. So be sure to subscribe if you enjoy and leave a like on the video. Loads of videos going out over the next few days ahead of the Six Nations and the match watch longs are going to be back this weekend. Enjoy the video, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Where would you say this team is at, at the minute, the national side? How, how do you feel about it looking over the past 12 months? Uh, incubation stage, uh, to be quite honest with you. And, I, and I'll explain why, because um, you know, the coaching staff has all changed. Uh, some of the players are the latter part of their career and, you know, unfortunately is such as a cycle of professional sport and you, when your time is up, it's it's quite ruthless. Um, look, Wayne, Wayne Pivak has come in with different ideas. He wants to be a little bit more expansive uh, and a little bit more creative. Um, he's going up against the old guard a little bit. He's trying to che uh, teach old dogs new tricks, so to speak. Uh, and it's difficult. It's like when any any sort of business comes in with a new management, they're going to bring their own ideas. And, uh, you know, what we've, we've seen, you know, and, and you're quite right, it was a tough year and, and uh, you just got to persevere. Warren Gatman's gone. Sean Edwards is gone. You know, they were big for Wales. But if you can recall back for the first three years, Wales were non-existent, really. So it takes time. You've got to build a team. But we've got into the mentality in Wales. We demand a winning team. Mm. And if you look at the quality of players, there's quality. There is some quality out there. However, what we see in the regional game, I believe, is a legacy of what what uh, Warren Gatlin has left behind, where they're all trying to emulate the way that Wales were playing, very defence-orientated, Sean Edwards-esque. Uh, and... Um, you haven't got the client, uh, you haven't got the people there, the, the the players, all the players there, and you haven't got the management there who, who are going to, you know, um, uh, run that game plan. So you've got to adapt to the situation. And I think we haven't. And that's what we've had is a conveyor belt of players coming through, trying to play that brand of rugby. All of a sudden, the man at the top of the, the tree, Wayne Pivak, is trying to change it. And, and it's causing a couple of teething problems. There's a couple of younger guys coming through, um, you know, which are quite quite flamboyant and quite end up, you know and and it, it's a difficult thing to do i think wales need to be a little bit more patient uh it's not going to happen overnight um as we know but wales commands and demands that, that that we're back to winning ways because the last 10 years as you've just rightly said that wales have won several grand slams and and copious amounts of things have got to the semi-final of the world cup and and, and whatnot so it's it's patience and unfortunately, you know, you've got senior players who are coming to the end of their career and, you know, unfortunately, they are going to have to part company at, at some stage. None of us like it. None of us want to hear it. Um, I've been there. It's blooming horrible. Uh, and it's not nice. And it's not it's not um, a reflection on the quality of that player. It's unfortunately, when your time's up, time's up. Um, yeah. and and I know that sounds a little bit ruthless, but the game is. Mm. Yeah. If you don't move with the game, you know, you, you, you're not going to have success. Um, finally then, Six Nations, round the corner. Uh, how do I ask this? What what do you want to see from Wales, this Six Nations? Is it seen a little bit more growth, moving over to Pivak style a bit more, a little bit more success with that? Because... For me, if we get three wins, I think that counts as a success, this Six Nations. Um, I don't know what Fian thinks about that, but I certainly think that three wins would be good for us. What do you want to see this Six Nations uh, from Wales? Well, a little bit more cohesion. I think, uh, you know, it's been a little bit disruptive. Um, you know, it's, 
not so much balance. I thought, you know, when we played the, what was that, that Autumn Cup, whatever it was, you know, making wholesale changes, 13 changes in one game. You know, I, I don't even know what the cup was called, was it? You know, um, you, know I think when, you know what I mean? It's You're playing international rugby, you know, making 13 changes is quite a drastic thing to do. I think, you know, you need a bit of consistency and cohesion. The consistency, you know, he's got to get what he believes is his first team, is his starters, and build around that, the nucleus of the team, and, and build around that, you know. And if it's going to put people's noses out of joint, it's going to put people's noses out of joint. But for the success and the, and the longevity of of the Welsh national team, that's what you've got to do. And uh, um, so cohesion and, and togetherness, I think, you know, they were very disjointed. I think... Is different players trying to play different game plans when they're out there, um, and it's quite apparent uh, it was. So it was a bit topsy turvy, shall we say? But then, you know that happens when you have got a new coaching staff in there. But I think Pivak needs to lay the law down and bang. This is the way we're going to play, and that's it. Um, you know, and if that is this free, freer flowing sort of brand of rugby which he he brought into the Scarlets a couple of years back, I can't believe when they had a, you know proved very you know, a positive outcome, then that's what he's got to do. Uh, but it's difficult because, you know, it's ruthless. Uh, the Welsh public demand wins, uh, as we all do. And we, and we all want to see Wales win. And I think it's good when you got got the, a little bit of criticism, but, you know, sense needs to prevail. And, uh, and, and that's the way forward, I think.